Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today we want to look at secondhand bows and whether they're good value or not good value compared to a new bow. So I've got a whole pile of secondhand bows behind me. So let's look at them and let's determine whether it's a good, good buy or not a good buy for you as a consumer. So the first bow I'm going to start with is a Supra, PSE Supra. Now this bow is an awesome target bow. Um, brand new, they sell for about $1,400. Um, it's still a current model in 2018, and this bow is still a current model 2018 bow. So that means it hasn't changed from 2017 to 2018. Now how do you determine if it's a current model or not? You look at some of the features, and this bow, this bow existed in 2016. In 2017, they changed the cable guard just there to that system. I'm just looking to make sure they haven't changed in 2018 to the new flex guard, but that was the only change. Now when looking at a bow, it's 1400 new, second hand we're asking $800 for the Supra. So it's a little bit over, a little bit over half price. Now one of the first things you wanna look at is the string quality. Now you can see these strings have actually had a fair bit of work. The person who owned this bow shot a fair bit with it. You can see there. But you've still got a fair bit of life on these strings. So if you need a new set of strings, you're gonna be up for let's say $150 by the time you fit them. We sell the strings for $130 plus fitting, so around $150 odd dollars. Um, this does come with a peeps, a sight and a peep sight on the bow, which is around 40 odd dollars. Um, it's got a little wrist sling there, which is around 20. Now this bow is very draw length adjustable, so that means it'll pretty much suit anybody. Um, so for me, $800, I look at what I can buy brand new for $800 versus second hand. So brand new, the bows which I would be comparing would be the PSE Stinger at 450 the PSE Phenom at about a thousand. Now to me, this is a better bow than both of those. It's obviously more expensive than the Stinger, but it's, it's well, this bow should sell quickly at 800. Now this is a Hoyt Podium, uh, brand new. This bow sold for $2,200. Um, it's adjustable with modules here so when you want to change your draw length you've got to buy modules for it now this bow um, was new in 2016 um, in 2017 they brought out the um, prevail so the podium was the one before the power this is a 2016 bow now this bow all you've got to look at to see how much it's been shot is look through where the cables are you can see here where, the, where it runs through the cables, this bow has never been shot. Um, you can check your D-loop, um, the little um, serving down here. You can see this bow, it does have a little bit of wearing here. But overall, these strings look brand new. And I know this. I know the person who owned this bow and he barely shot it. Now, brand new, it was $2,200. $2, we're selling this bow for around 800, so about a third the price. Now the problem with the Hoyt Podium, and an awesome bow, very similar to the Prevail, the problem is when you want to change draw length, you need to buy some new modules. Modules are going to cost you 80 odd dollars. But picking this up at $800 to me is pretty good value. It's a nice shooting bow used by top competitors. Um, and really the difference between the 2017 and 2018 version, the Prevail, is minor. Um, this comes with a GX cam, which is a smooth shooting cam. Now I'm just going to compare this to the $800 PSE Supra that I have for sale. Now the Supra is obviously a cheaper bow at $1,400, but it does have the adjustability of draw length, which is going to suit someone if they want to sell the bow or they want to grow. So while the Hoyt is almost, almost a third of the price and the PSE is over half price, these two bows you have to consider which one's better value to suit you. <coughs> Freedom. 
this following my theme of Hoyt um, this is a Hoyt Power Max um, this bow is pretty much like brand new you can see it has had some wear um, brand new it sells in a kit for a thousand and seventy six the person kept the kit so kept the arrow rest and the sight and the quiver which I valued about at about about hundred and fifty odd dollars so I think the bow itself is worth 900 new um, this bow was selling for 550 now the advantage of the power max is you can adjust the draw length um, so it's a rotating module so one bow suits anybody in 550 you're going to compare this bow to other bows at 550 so you're going to compare it to a PSC Stinger um, PSC Drive at 700 I think 550 this bow is really well priced at 550 compared to the Stinger and compared to the Drive you've got to say is it better or worse um, it is a cast riser but at 550 you've already lost all the money there is to lose on the bow Now this is a Hoyt Carbon Spider. This bow brand new sold for about $2,000, $2,200 I think it was. It's fitted with a two-piece Hoyt quiver. You can see, see it's still got the little tag on it here. So this bow has never been shot. Um, the bow today compared to the new, it's been replaced by the RX-1. Still a Carbon Spider bow I'm going to say it's very similar compared to 2018 and 2017 it's still light it's still a carbon riser the finish is immaculate you can see the strings have, have basically never been shot um, it's going to sell for about a thousand dollars the quiver's worth about 200 on the bow so you're talking about two and two thousand four hundred dollars about a thousand dollars now a thousand dollars what other bows do you have in the market in the hunting lineup you're going to look at the PSE React um, at about a thousand the Hoyt Power Max in fact the person with the Power Max I just showed upgraded his Power Max from upgraded from his Power Max to one of these bows um, which was second hand so Now this is a Hoyt carbon element, so it's before the it's the bow before the carbon spider. Still a carbon riser, very very light. Um, it's adjustable with modules again, so if you want to change draw length, you've got to buy modules. Modules are going to set you back about eight hundred dollars, eight eighty dollars. The strings are again immaculate, came came from the same person, so he barely shot this bow. Um, now because this is an older bow than the carbon spider you're going to take the price off a little bit brand new this would have been around two thousand two hundred odd dollars new i think i'm selling it for around seven hundred it's about a third the price now is it better or worse than the carbon spider it's pretty similar um but because it's an older model you probably want to take off a couple hundred dollars off that price um and around seven hundred dollars so you can compare this to the PSE drive um which you know new versus second hand the thing which is good about Hoyt is it's pretty much a bulletproof bow so you're going to go well the chance of these limbs breaking if the limbs were to break they're going to cost you four hundred dollars but you can see with the Hoyt there's so little tension on these limbs the chances of Hoyt limbs breaking are, are basically non-existent so for me at about seven hundred dollars I'm a buyer on this bow compared to a brand new um, PSE drive. The problem is the draw length adjustment because you're going to have to buy modules if you need to change the draw length. Now always when you're selling a bow second hand the draw length is a problem because people they might not be the same draw length as you, so they'll have to go and buy modules and that's going to tip them back around $80. So bear that in mind with rotating modules versus buying modules. Now the last bow I want to look at, this is a Martin Krypton. Now I really like this bow when it came out. 
It was one of my favorite bows. In fact, I sold as many of these as I sold PSC Stingers at the time. It's a single cam um, bow. Now, the, it, it balanced really nicely in the hand. Um, and I'm going to say it shot better than the PSC Stinger. There was less vibration. Now, the problem was with these limbs. These are a Chinese limb. Now, certain ones will crack. Now, the problem is replacing them is a problem because Martin don't have replacement limbs. Now, these limbs do exist. They exist in a company in China, but you'd have to be an importer from that company, or I'm not, to get them. So they do exist, those limbs. They are a crossbow limb. Now, not all the limbs broke, only some, but it is a problem. Now, second hand, these bows were selling around 450 at the time. Second hand, you're going to pay around 200. So it's about the same sort of price as a cheap Chinese compound bow. I'm going to say probably the Chinese bow is better value because it's got better limbs than these. Um, you want the Chinese bow with the American limbs versus the Chinese limbs. But the Krypton is a lovely bow to shoot. So when picking a bow second hand, whether it be recurve or compound, you want to look at the condition. You want to say, you want to say, do I need to fit new strings to it? How long will it be until I fit new strings? Um, do I need draw length adjustment on the bow? Cause that's going to set me back about 800. And you've got to weigh out, well, what's my chances of breaking a set of limbs um, on the bow? And if I do break a set of limbs, what are they going to cost? Now, PSE, you're looking around $200 for a set of limbs, $200 for a set of cams. Most warranties that I see are not manufacturer faults. They are users dry firing the bow, derailing the bow, they and working on the bow, putting too much tension on the bow press. So to me, the warranty is not much of an issue, but I will say when I first got into archery, I brought bows secondhand because I couldn't afford new, and I did break limbs. But bows these days are pretty rock solid. So. It wouldn't be too much of an issue, but I don't want to pay too much for second hand compared to new because bows at 500 are really, really good value. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I've hoped that's helped you in selecting a bow second hand versus new. I get asked so many, so many times, what's the bow worth second hand? What's the equipment worth second hand? And the answer is generally about half price. So I'm Stephen from Archery Supplies. This is my little poodle, Marla. Thanks for watching. Bye.